What's going on YouTube? This is Tyrone Trinity, the Diesel Soldier. And today we're gonna do a tool haul, but it's a little bit different than the others, but kind of the same. So check it out, let's go. So this tool haul right here is a little bit odd due to the fact that these tools are like probably like not snap on as or against the tool truck. So I know some of the tool truck guys would be like kind of tripping about this, but then this is me, man. I'm kind of done with the tool truck uh, hype. So I'm trying to buy something that's more practical. But if I had to buy a tool truck, it's gotta be like something that I really need or something that's actually known in the industry as a good tool or a great tool or a reliable tool. So other than that, I'm gonna stay away from the tool truck. So the first thing on this tool haul is gonna be, and I just made a video about this, if you guys haven't checked it out, it's the Lang 40 piece retreading set. I have borrowed this tool for so so many times that it's I, I just had to buy it like i bought it from so many uh journeymen already so and well some of the apprentice have them either also but the, the ones they have is like harbor freight so i don't know i'm not knocking on harbor freight but just i don't trust it so i always go for like the snap-on and the macro ones or the mac tool ones which by the way pretty similar to this. So not the same because the one that Mako has, it's about 48 piece or something like that, or 51 piece. This is only 40 piece. So I'll, like I said, I just made a video about this because I was pretty disappointed with the quality of the tool. But this is the line 40 piece retreading set. And again, they all look the same to me. So. If you guys are like tripping about, oh, should have got a Matco, should have got a Snap-on or whatever for warranty. Well, I, I can honestly say this to you and I used to justify that as a good way of buying a tool by, you know, like buying a, from a tool truck so you can just warranty it. But for some of the tools that you rarely use, I don't know if I want to go in a tool truck way. So that's just my opinion about it. So if you have other opinions, then that's fine. You know, I respect that. So yeah, the price range on this is about 70. Last time I saw this, it was $70 uh, three days ago. So, but when I bought it on my birthday, this is, it's like 78. So I bought it and the ranges kind of varies in Amazon, especially, but in Zorro and Tooltopia, uh, companies like that, it's about, it's ranges to 80 to 100 bucks. So the macro version is about $187. The Mac one is like 157. So uh, I just, I couldn't justify why I should buy that. So let's go to the next tool. So the next one is gonna be a little bit different. It's a little bit heavy. It's an eight pound hammer right here. If you work on diesel trucks, if you work on class eight vehicles, you need an eight pound hammer about this size. Yes, you can buy a sledge, a little bit heavier, or a little bit longer, but sometimes when you have to work on a drive line that is, uh, that is full board U-joint, you have to use this when they're seized and knock them out. I'm talking about hammering that's not out of it okay so again this right here is 55 dollars in amazon i didn't want to buy anything fancy because uh, i rarely use my eight, like a eight pound hammer I, again i used to borrow this a lot and it's, i think it's just a side i just decided to like buy fun for my own and it's i'm hitting the, the year three of my apprenticeship about one more year I'm about to join you out. So with God's help, I will get there in time. But if it doesn't, you know, you can't rush things. So eight pound hammer, uh, this says fiberglass and 
$55 for this hammer. I think it's a good deal. Uh, it's up to you if you want to buy something fancy. But for me, if you work on a diesel or class A trucks, eight pound hammer, get one. All right, so the next one is gonna be a, again, an air in extraction set. I haven't borrowed this enough too much, but the other day I kind of needed it. And for some reason, most of the journeymen called out <laughs> and the, the one that's asked it, of course. So no one has it. So like I had to be pulled out from the job. And I know it's kind of disappointing working in a dealership, but the shop doesn't own their own extractor set, but bought one for myself. Again, the tool truck version of this is gonna be a little bit more, actually quite more than the Erwin Hansen. Um, this is the most, one of the most rebranded tool out there. I know Mac, Mac tools, and probably, I think even Snap-on have rebranded this. So it's by Erwin, made in the USA. Again, the reason why I'm knocking on these tools is the quality. Uh, if you look at the quality on this particular three quarters inch extractor, I don't know if you can see that. I, I think even if the camera is not clear, you can see how like the quality on this. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna ever zoom. Uh, no, nope, right there. You, you can see already, even if it's like blurry like the quality it's i don't know it's just i mean i did pay 64 dollars for this uh right now on amazon it's about 67 dollars so 25 piece set made in the usa i couldn't complain i had to get it so one of those tools that you don't need much but if, when you need it then uh you need it you know it's better to have a tool to have the tool and not need, then to need and not have some bullshit like that. But, and what I like about it also is the, the guide and stuff and there's a how to use, so it's dummy proof. And you also have the size set if you don't know how to read the size, like on the actual extractor. So I think it's a good freaking deal if you are looking for or in the market for a extractor multiplying extractor set I, I believe harbor freight has one for like 20 bucks but that's up to you if you want to buy the harbor freight or i don't know i just don't want to go cheap too cheap on that so the last set is going to be i have to turn the camera around because it's going to be a huge one so the last tool on this tool hole is going to be the gear wrench tap and die set um, before I go through this, I want to give a shout out to the Zenny for giving me a, pushing me or influencing me to just buy the gear wrench one. Cause I am in the market for a tap and die set because I have borrowed my, one of my coworkers way too many times. And then it's time, man. It, it's really it is time. And the shop ones are all, all the bits and pieces are missing. So I didn't need to get my own tap and die set. Here is the gear wrench tap and die set for like, I got this for like $236. And well, around 250 plus tax. Again, price may vary on the time and date that you purchase it. So I bought this April, 2023. So the, if you are in the market for one, they can probably change anytime after this video is posted. So, like I like about it is, it's very organized and really, really well put through. And I know I was knocking on the USA made tools earlier because of the quality. This one, I can't really knock it because it really looks nice and uh, refined. Like it's not like, I, sloppy looking or anything and some of the tap and die set that i have worked with when it's put in right here when you open it it's it falls off and i don't know i find that kind of annoying some people might not be bothered by it but for me if i close it tight if 
right? If I close it like that, it should stay up. But if it doesn't, then uh, it's kind of irritating to me. That's just me though. Um, the only thing that probably annoys me is when I got it, this thing is broken. This this guide set that they have. Um, and it's pretty cool that they have a, like a reference sheet or a conversion chart. Uh, it's really nice to have. So what drill to use or what kind of a, a die or tap or that you want to use. Um, I've read some reviews and actually watched some videos before I purchased this. So they said like this thing, this thing right here, tends uh, to lock up. Um, we'll see about that. I might post a video about this. So again, it's really organized. Um, there's nothing more I can say about it, but it's a, I think this is a good purchase. And if you are in the market for a tap and die set, this is probably one of the good options to go if you want to go off brand or off the tool truck kind of thing. So uh, there's a lot of backlash in the gear wrench lately. And to me, gear wrench have been my some of my reliable tool, like uh, my ratcheting uh, wrench. It's like I've been using that for almost three, four years now and still haven't break. So I guess it's working fine. Like I'm using it daily on the daily abuse. Uh, still have, I haven't warranty any of my gear wrench. So I don't know. That's just my opinion though. That's just my experience. So if you have any other uh, comment about gear wrench, post it down below and let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Let's talk about like decent human beings. Start with this shade on other mechanics because they have a different opinion. But that's just my opinion. I know some of you guys are saying gear wrench have the same factor as Harbor Freight. I honestly say that some of the Harbor Freight tools are like the icon line are pretty quality. Um, for example, this flush cut right here that I have, it's like pretty, like if I close my eyes or if, I get, if you give this to like a, a mechanic or anybody that's not aware of the tool industry, they would say it's the same thing. And I, I can honestly say they work the same. Um, I lost, not lost, but like I misplaced my flush cut and I really love using flush cuts. So when I replaced, when I was, I misplaced it, I left it on a truck. Good thing the truck came back for uh, another job, not because uh, it came back, uh, <laughs> that my flush cut was still there. It was sitting on the, right by the windshield area. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that happens. I lost a lot of tool that way. So yep, I, I wouldn't say that snap on is better than, or icon is better than snap on, but I couldn't tell the difference. So like I said, some of the tools that gear wrench or I mean, Harbor Freight does have, it's pretty similar to some of the tool truck brand. And that's just my opinion on that. Cause in my experience, they're about the same, especially the icon. And I don't know about uh, you, like Pittsburgh brand. I barely have any Pittsburgh brand. I think the only Pittsburgh I have is my breaker bar. And I've had that for like seven years now, uh, ever since I started in this industry as a lube tech and uh, in a fleet. Um, so that is about it, guys. Uh, it's a little bit messy right now because I just changed a my scions uh just service my scion and uh about to go work on my highlander now um i'm about to make a pcb board so like some electrical stuff that's why i got this wire kit this is also a good if you like doing diag if, uh, especially a cummins they like to do this uh you gotta jump from pin a return line to pin two to the Signal line, they like to do that. This actually makes a good jumper wire, especially on those uh, like fuel sensor. They have very thin pins. So this, like a like a paper clip would not even able to make it there. If you do, you're gonna damage the terminal. So this is a good terminal kit. So just FYI, 
and that is about it so that is about it guys for my tool haul and if you like this video click that like button and if you want to support my channel you want to support my little channel <laughs> uh click that like uh subscribe video and comment down below for any opinions whatever don't care if you have a hating but don't really care but it's just if you guys want to comment your opinion everybody has opinion kind of like buttholes and they deserve to have one so that is about it. Again, my name is Tyler Trinity, reminding you guys that knowledge is a tool. Use it wisely. I'm out.